good morning. It's February 15th, and I wanted to share a thought about February, and as we are past the halfway point in the school year, I think so many of us are afraid to try new things, uh, to think that whatever we have already done is where we're going to be stuck for the rest of the year. So if students have not been reading daily, it's too late to introduce sight reading to them. If behaviors have gone out of control, it's too late to make changes, too late to create new procedures, too, too late to create new guidelines. The truth of the matter is it's never too late to make changes. It's never too late to turn your program around. So if you haven't been sight reading with your students, maybe um, it wasn't important, you didn't feel you had the time, or maybe the students were resistant. Now might be a good time to try it. I use Sight Reading Factory and uh, you know I put it on the board and they do several examples in a row. Maybe they sight read an example part of your music that you would ordinarily spoon feed. If students are misbehaving, maybe you create a new guideline that is going to help your students to focus better in the rehearsal and, and reinforce that guideline. If there's a procedure that's not working, such as how students leave the room or how students get their music or um, how students ask questions, whatever it might be, change it. It's never too late to make changes. February is not too late in the year. Neither is March and neither is April. So I suggest you make the changes whenever you see fit. And it also teaches the students that we have routines and the routines are important, but it's equally important to be adaptable. We should always be adapting to the circumstances that are there and making changes will teach them this concept. I hope this is helpful.